Hi there, I'd like to show you a new product that's come on the market invented by the UK's harmonica inventor in chief, <laughs> Mr. Brendan Power. Um, and as you know, he tends to reinvent the harmonica um, most months and he's done it again. And this is what he's come up with, this overblow booster. So you get one on the top and one on the bottom and that's how they look. It's a 3D printed reed isolator, I guess you could call it. It's got a little location thing in there which clips over the screw that's already on the harmonica. And it has a little bit of neoprene on there to give it more tension. And these just clip onto the harmonica. Once they're on there and the cover plate is on there, they become invisible. That one goes underneath like that. When the cover plates are on, they're invisible. And what do they do? They allow you to overblow and overdraw fully and bend all the notes. So with this thing on, I can easily do the four overblow without using it, without touching it. Very hard to do it. Uh, it also comes with a bar at the back, an overblow booster, which I will show you later. Let me just reassemble it and I'll come right back to you. Okay, so we're now assembled. The whole thing is in working order. I want to just very quickly show you a couple of other instruments where the idea perhaps came from. I don't think it's a brand new idea. I think Brendan was involved with this Suzuki overdrive. So you see the holes there. So if you would press the hole there, you'd isolate read six. And the same on the underneath, I guess, or would you do it here? Yeah, so to get the overblows, you would isolate the reeds on the top. To get the overdraws, you would isolate these guys. Um, it was also done something similar by Hank Banson, the over overblow uh, Golden Melody. So the same idea, but uh, Brenda's come up with this, which is a whole lot cheaper. Those things were very expensive and not in production now. So these things are pretty inexpensive. And I think you can get a pack of 10 or 12 of them. So you can buy them with just this part, just the uh, inserts. And you can see that you can't see them. <laughs> From the outside, there's not really very much change. And it just plays like a normal harp when they're in there. So there's no real difference. There's no point in not having them in there in a sense, is there? So I'm going to recommend that people check this out and perhaps have a go at it. Try one, maybe buy a pack, I don't know. And if you press your finger over hole one, over that chamber, it lets you get the overblow, which otherwise you can't do very easily. Pretty tricky. You can also bend the overblows now. And the bar, all that does is it just closes all of those down at the same time. So you've got one, four, five and six. Um, two and three you don't need to worry about because you can get the note that you would otherwise get overblowing much more easily elsewhere. Okay, so there's hole four. Listen to the transition between an overblow on four and the straight bend on hole five, straight note on hole five. That's going to be great for expression, isn't it? And then we go from five to six. Or you could use this. So uh, that's the overblows and the overdraws are here on holes 
uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so I can get it with my finger closing this chamber or this. And eight. And they will also bend as well. So it really opens up a large amount of possibilities, I think. So it's bonkers not to try it, really. What's what's not to like? Try it, I think. There's a few other things. When you are blowing on hole seven, nothing really much happens. When you draw on hole seven, So on hole seven you can get the overdraw, but you can also get a slight blow bend. So a bit of expression there, and the same on five. But the reverse, so breathing in on five. Uh, you also get a massive draw chord. This is probably going to sound distorted, but I'll do it anyway. So for people who play a lot in second position or use a lot of chords, that could be a useful feature. Um, I think it now comes with a little clip. So you can just take this bit off within seconds rather than having to, you know, screw the thing in, which takes a little bit of time. Um, what else can you do? Of course, if you're a blues player, you can now play the middle octave in second position. There's your blues scale, but now you can add to it in the middle octave. So that means your middle octave in second position playing works well. Um, in first position playing, the middle octave again, because you've got the blues scale on holes four, five, and six overblow, which has been difficult to get until now. So. That would be a typical first position blues scale from the top. Now middle octave. Easy peasy. <laughs> Not at all a problem. And the note which always eludes the blues players. So this little doohickey will fill in a lot of gaps for you. I think it's worth a shot. Try it out. And if you find you're not wanting to use it, just play normally. You can play with a microphone or acoustically as normal. There it is, the Overblow Booster. Worth a shot, in my opinion. Okay, thanks very much. See you later.